Do you know the condition I am in? Hi, is everything okay? Honestly, I don't know where to begin. Do you know the condition I am in? No, I'm not sure. Can you please explain? Well, I've been dealing with a lot of stress at work, and it's taking a toll on my mental and physical health. That sounds really bad. The workload is overwhelming, and I feel like I'm constantly drowning in deadlines. I had no idea you were going through all this. Is there anything I can do to help? Just having someone to talk to and lend an ear would mean a lot. Of course, I'm here for you. Thanks, Alice. Let's grab a coffee and talk more about it. You don't have to face this alone. I have no choice. Have you decided on whether to take the job offer or not? It's a difficult decision. The new job has better pay, but it's in a different city. That does sound like a tough choice to me. Yeah, I love my current job and the people here, but financially, I need to consider the higher salary. What about your family and friends here? I know, that's what's making it so hard. But with the rising expenses, I have no choice but to think about the practical aspects. It's understandable. Just remember to weigh out all the pros and cons before making a final decision. I will. Thanks for understanding. Sometimes, life forces us into these situations where we feel like we have no choice. My daughter knows how to read now. How's your daughter doing? Is she still enjoying school? She's doing great. Thanks for asking. And yes, she's really thriving in school. That's wonderful to hear. What's her favorite subject? She absolutely loves English. In fact, she surprised us the other day. How so? My daughter knows how to read now. It's amazing to see her progress. That's a big milestone. How does she learn so quickly? Her teacher has been incredibly supportive, and she's been practicing a lot at home, too. You must be really proud of her. Absolutely. I couldn't be happier. Watching her learn and grow is such a rewarding experience. She is our manager. Have you met the new employee yet? Yes, I have. She seems quite impressive. Really? What makes you say that? Well, she has excellent communication skills and a strong work ethic. That's great to hear. Is she part of our team? No, actually, she is our manager. Oh, I see. So, she will be leading us from now on? Yes, that's correct. She has a lot of experience, and I believe she will guide us toward success. I'm glad to have such a capable manager. I'm looking forward to working with her. She had nothing to report. How did the project meeting with Sarah go? It was quite brief, actually. She had nothing to report. Really? I thought there were some important updates due. That's what I thought, too. But it seems like everything is on track for now. Did she mention any potential issues or concerns? No. She said everything was running smoothly. And there were no obstacles at the moment. Well, that's a relief, I suppose. It's good to know that things are going well. Yeah. Hopefully this positive trend continues until the project's completion. We'll keep an eye on things, just in case. I wish you well. (laughs) 
Hey, I heard you're leaving the company. Is that true? Yes, it's true. I've decided to move on to a new opportunity. That's great. I'm happy for you. But I'll definitely miss having you around. Thanks. I'll miss everyone here, too. It's been a wonderful experience. Where are you heading next? I'll be joining a startup in a similar field. Exciting times are ahead. Well, I wish you all the best in your new adventure. You'll do amazing things, I'm sure. Thank you so much. Your support means a lot to me. Keep in touch, okay? And remember, if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Absolutely, I appreciate that. I wish you well, too, and I'll definitely keep in touch. She needs medical assistance. Have you talked to Anna lately? She looked really unwell yesterday. I did check up on her. She's been feeling worse, but she's hesitant to see a doctor. Maybe she just needs some rest? No, it's more serious than that. She's experiencing persistent pain and discomfort. That doesn't sound good. I'm really concerned about her. We should convince her to seek medical help. I agree. She needs medical assistance. Maybe we could offer to accompany her to the doctor's appointment. That's a good idea. Let's reach out to her again and let her know we're here for her. Absolutely. Her well-being comes first. We'll do our best to help her through this. I'll take her to the nearest hospital. Oh no, what happened to Sarah? She looks really pale and weak. I'm not sure, but she fainted suddenly. We need to help her immediately. Don't worry, I'll take her to the nearest hospital. We can't waste any time. Please be careful while carrying her. We need to make sure she gets the medical attention she needs. Of course, I'll be gentle. Can you call ahead and inform her parents about the situation? They need to know. Absolutely, I'll make the call right away. We'll do everything we can to ensure her well-being. Please close the door. Hey, could you do me a favor? Sure, what do you need? Could you please close the door? It's getting a bit chilly in here. Of course, no problem. Just give me a second. There you go. All closed. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's important to keep the cold air out. Nothing at all. Let's keep the warmth in and the cold out. Oh, and also, could you pass me the book on the coffee table? Sure thing. Here you go. Perfect. Thanks a bunch. You're a lifesaver. Anytime. Just let me know if you need anything else. It's much cozier now. There are a thousand reasons to do it. Hey Andy, what's on your mind? I'm a bit hesitant about taking the new job offer. It seems like a big step. I understand your concerns, but remember, there are a thousand reasons to do it. It feels like such a risk, and I'm comfortable where I am now. I get that, but growth often comes from stepping out of our comfort zones. Think about all the new skills you'll learn and the opportunities it could open up. True, but what if I'm not ready for the challenges it brings? You won't know until you try. Embrace the chance to learn and grow. Remember, every successful journey starts with a single step. You're right. I've always admired those who take bold steps in their careers. Maybe it's time for me to take one, too. That's the spirit. Believe in yourself, and you'll find your own reasons for making this move. You've got this. All right, you're convincing me. 
it really is worth a try. Exactly. Good luck. Thanks, Julia. Taking a risk can be rewarding. Hey, have you ever thought about taking a risk? Well, it depends. What kind of risk are you talking about? I mean, stepping out of our comfort zones and trying something new. Taking a risk can be rewarding. Hmm, I'm not sure. Risks often come with uncertainties and potential failures. True, but they also offer opportunities for growth and success. Remember when we started that small project together? It was risky, but it turned out to be one of our greatest achievements. That's a fair point. I guess taking calculated risks can lead to unexpected outcomes and personal development. So, what do you say? Shall we embrace the unknown and see where it takes us? All right, let's give it a shot. What is your current address? Hey, I realized I don't have your current address. What is your current address? My current address is 123 Elm Street, apartment 4B. Have you moved recently? Yeah, I moved about two months ago. It's a nice place, closer to my workplace. That's convenient. And speaking of addresses, has yours changed recently? Actually, yes. I moved to a new neighborhood last week. It's 456 Oak Avenue. Got it. Thanks for letting me know. New addresses can be a bit tricky to keep track of sometimes. Absolutely but it's important for staying connected. The future is full of hope. Hey there, how's everything going? Honestly, I've been feeling a bit down lately. The world seems so uncertain right now. I understand what you mean, but remember, the future is full of hope. We may face challenges, but we also have endless possibilities ahead. It's just hard to see beyond the current chaos sometimes. I completely get that. But if we focus on the negatives, we might miss out on opportunities for growth and positive change. I guess it's important to focus on finding solutions and being open to new ideas. Absolutely. Together, we can shape the future we want. Keep working towards making a difference in our own lives and the world around us. You're right. The future is full of hope. That is the wrong answer. Do you want to play a game? Which game? Answer the question. Okay, go ahead. Do you know the capital of France? Sure, it's Berlin. Actually, that is the wrong answer. The correct answer is Paris. What's the largest mammal in the world? Hmm, I think it's an elephant. Not quite. That is the wrong answer. The largest mammal is actually the blue whale. Okay, next one. Can you tell me who painted the Mona Lisa? Oh, that's easy. It's Van Gogh. Nope, that is the wrong answer. The artist of the Mona Lisa is Leonardo da Vinci. Fine, I'm not good at this game at all. I don't want to play anymore. Do you know the answer? Hey, 
hey, did you hear about the quiz we have tomorrow? Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. Hey, Tom, look at question three. Do you know the answer? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. I remember reading something about it, but I can't recall the exact details. Have you tried looking it up in your notes? I did, but couldn't find anything specific. Maybe we should ask the teacher for some clarification. That's a good idea. Do you want me to email the teacher? Sure, that would be great. Hopefully, we'll have a clearer picture before tomorrow's test. I can clean up by myself. Hey, I noticed there's a lot of clutter in your room. Do you need help cleaning up? Thanks for offering, Mom, but I can clean up by myself. Are you sure? It looks like quite a task. Yeah, I've been meaning to organize things for a while now. But I really appreciate your willingness to help. All right, just let me know if you change your mind. I'm here to lend a hand. Will do. Thanks for understanding. No problem at all. I'll be in the kitchen if you need anything. Thanks, Mom. I'll call you if I need an extra pair of hands. My favorite sport is soccer. Hey! Do you have any favorite sports? Absolutely. My favorite sport is soccer. Oh, cool. What do you like about soccer? I love the energy of the game and how it brings people from all around the world together. That's true. Do you play soccer yourself? Yeah, I play at a local league. It's a great way to stay active and connect with others who share the same passion. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm more into basketball, but soccer definitely has its charm. Basketball is great, too. Absolutely. Both soccer and basketball have their unique thrills. Let's take a 15-minute rest. We've been hiking for hours. I could use a break. I agree. My legs are getting tired. Let's take a 15-minute rest. Sounds like a plan. This spot looks perfect with the shade and the nice view. Definitely. And there's a nice breeze, too. It's refreshing. I brought some snacks and water. Want to share? Sure, that would be great. Thanks. It's so peaceful here. I needed this break to recharge. Me too. Nature as a way of calming the mind. All right, time to get back on the trail? Yeah, let's do it. We're almost at the summit. Okay, let's go. A used car can be a good deal. I've been thinking about getting a new car, but the prices are so high. Have you considered buying a used car? A used car can be a good deal and save you a lot of money. Really? I've always been hesitant about used cars. I worry about their condition. I understand your concern, but if you do your research and buy from a reputable dealer, you can find a well-maintained used car that's reliable and affordable. That's true. I guess I should look into it more. A used car can give you great value if you approach it wisely. Thanks for the advice. I'll start looking into used cars then. Your performance can be affected by your sleep. I've been feeling so tired lately, and I can't seem to concentrate at work. Have you been getting enough sleep? Not really. I've been staying up late to do things. You know, your performance can be affected by your sleep. 
Lack of sleep can lead to decreased focus and productivity. I guess you're right, but there's just so much to do at night. It's important to find a balance. Maybe limit your TV time before bed and prioritize getting a good night's sleep. I'll try to make some changes and see if it helps with my energy and focus. Your body and mind will thank you for it. Thanks for the advice. I'll start tonight and aim for a better sleep routine. I don't want to fight with you. Linda, listen. I don't want to fight with you. It feels like we've been arguing a lot lately. And it's taking a toll on our relationship. I understand how you feel. I don't want to fight either. It's exhausting and doesn't solve anything. Maybe we should take a step back and try to understand each other. We need to communicate openly and respectfully. You're right. Let's focus on listening to each other rather than trying to prove who's right or wrong. Yeah. We can find common ground and work through our differences together. That's a great approach. We should prioritize finding solutions instead of winning arguments. Absolutely. We can overcome these challenges and grow stronger as a couple. Let's finish this quickly. We've got a lot to do today. Where should we start? How about we begin with the emails? They're piling up. Good idea. Let's finish this quickly. Definitely. Once that's done, we can move on to the budget report. Right. The sooner we finish, the better. We'll stay focused and get through everything swiftly. And don't forget the meeting prep for tomorrow. Of course. Let's work together and get things done fast. I'm on board. Quick and efficient is the goal. Perfect. Once we're done, we can relax a bit. Definitely. So... Let's stop chatting and start doing. Let's finish this quickly. My goal is to speak English fluently. How's your language learning coming along? I'm making progress. My goal is to speak English fluently. That's a great goal. How are you working towards it? I've been watching English movies and practicing with language apps. Those are good methods. Have you tried speaking with native speakers? Not yet, but I'm planning to join conversation groups. That's a smart idea. What about you? Any language goals? I want to improve my Spanish before my vacation. I've been taking classes. Awesome. We can both support each other in reaching our language goals. Definitely. Let's keep practicing and encouraging each other. I go to bed around 10 p.m. What's your daily routine like? Well... I usually wake up around 6.30 a.m. That's early. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed around 10 p.m. That's a good amount of sleep. Do you have any bedtime rituals? Yeah, I like to read for a bit before turning in. Reading can be relaxing. How do you feel in the morning? I feel pretty refreshed most days. I tend to stay up later and struggle in the mornings. It took a while to adjust, but now I'm used to it. Maybe I should give your schedule a try. It sounds healthier. It's worth a shot. Finding a routine that suits you makes a difference. Let's make a plan. Let's make a plan. 
What do you suggest we do this weekend? Well, how about going to the park? We can have a picnic and play some games. That sounds nice, but what if it rains? Hmm, we can visit a museum instead. They usually have interesting exhibits. I like that idea too. What time should we meet? Let's meet at 10 o'clock in the morning. That way, we'll have enough time to explore. Perfect. Should we bring anything with us? Yes, let's bring some snacks for our picnic. And maybe a camera to capture the memories. Great, I'm looking forward to our day together. Me too, it's going to be a fun and memorable outing. The hospital needs people to give blood. Have you ever donated blood before? No, I haven't, but I've always wanted to help others. The hospital needs people to give blood. How can I donate? It's quite simple. You just need to visit the blood bank at the hospital and fill out a form. They will check your health and take a small sample of your blood. Does it hurt? It's usually not painful. That's good to know. Where can I get more information? They'll have more information on their website. I'll definitely look into it. I want to contribute and make a difference. That's amazing. Your donation will save lives and be greatly appreciated by those in need. I love walking in nature. I love walking in nature. It's so peaceful and refreshing. Do you enjoy it too? Absolutely. There's something magical about being surrounded by trees, flowers, and fresh air. Where do you usually go for walks? I have a nearby park with beautiful trails. That sounds lovely. I often visit a nearby beach. Oh. I can imagine the calming sound of waves. Nature has a way of soothing our souls, doesn't it? It truly does. I also find that walking in nature helps me clear my mind and reduce stress. I couldn't agree more. Let's make it a point to explore more natural spots together. That sounds wonderful. Count me in. My favorite color is blue. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. What about you? What's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. I find it so calming and soothing. Blue is pretty too, though. Yes, blue reminds me of the ocean and clear skies. Why do you like green? Green reminds me of nature and all the beautiful plants. It feels refreshing and alive. That's great. Do you have any green themed items or clothes? Definitely. I love wearing green shirts and decorating my room with plants. That sounds lovely. Colors can really influence our moods and emotions. Absolutely. I'm going to buy some bread. Honey, do we have any bread left for sandwiches? No, we're out of bread. All right, I'm going to buy some bread. Great, we really need some for lunch. Is there anything else you want me to grab? Maybe some milk if we're running low. Sure thing. I'll be back in a bit with the bread and milk. Perfect. That should cover our essentials for now. Anything else on the list while I'm there? No, just bread and milk. Okay, call me if anything else comes to your mind.
I feel fine. Hey, how have you been feeling lately? I feel fine. Thanks for asking. You look a bit tired, though. Yeah, I didn't sleep well last night. Is there anything bothering you? Just some stress from my family problems, but nothing major. If you have a need to talk or there's anything I can do, please let me know. I appreciate that. I think some rest will help me feel better. Absolutely. Taking care of yourself is important. Remember to unwind. Thanks for understanding. I'll try to relax and get some rest. Take it easy, and I hope you start feeling better soon. What do you know about him? So, have you met the new guy in the office yet? Yeah, I bumped into him at the coffee machine. What's he like? Seems cool. Quiet, maybe. But it was just a quick hello. What else do you know about him? Not much. Just that he moved here from out west. Out west? Like California? I think so. He mentioned surfing during the intro. Interesting. Did he say why he moved? Not really. Just something about a fresh start. Sounds mysterious. Maybe a little. He seems to keep to himself. Have you worked with him yet? No, but I've seen him around the office. I wonder what he's working on. Not sure. He's in a different department, isn't he? Yeah, he's with the design team, I think. You're curious about him, huh? Just trying to get to know the people I work with. Fair enough. I guess we'll find out more at the team lunch. Yeah, I'll try to sit next to him, see what's up. Good luck with that. He's a bit of an enigma. Enigma or not, everyone opens up eventually. We'll see. Anyway, gotta get back to work. Yeah, talk to you later. See you at the lunch. Definitely. I'm on a mission now. Mission accepted, Agent Emma. Haha, <laughs> don't tease, but I'll report back. Looking forward to it. Bye. Bye. College dorm essentials. So, have you packed everything for the dorm? Almost. I think I'm forgetting something. Did you pack the essentials, like bedding and towels? Yes, those are packed, but it feels like I'm missing something important. How about your toiletries? Toothbrush, shampoo, all that stuff. Got them, and I've got my laundry basket. Don't forget a desk lamp. You'll need good lighting. Desk lamp. Ah, that's what I was forgetting. See, I knew you were missing something. Thanks for that. What about snacks? Can't survive without those. Definitely bring some. Oh, and a water bottle. Stay hydrated. Water bottle, got it. What else? Maybe some pictures from home to decorate your space. Good idea. It'll make the place feel less empty. And don't forget your chargers. You don't want your phone dying on the first day. Chargers, right. Thanks for the reminder. How about a small first aid kit, just in case? That's dramatic, but practical. I'll add that to the list. And don't forget some comfy shoes for walking around campus. Got my sneakers, so I'm all set. Seems like you're just about ready then. Yeah, thanks to you. College, here I come. Just wait until you have to cook for yourself. That'll be the real challenge. Cook? I thought that's what the cafeteria was for. You'll get tired of cafeteria food real fast. Trust me. Maybe you can teach me some of your recipes then. Sure, if you don't burn down the kitchen first. 
Hey, I'll have you know I'm a quick learner. We'll see about that. Good luck, Jake. Thanks, Emily. I might need it. Cloth materials. Do you know anything about cloth materials? Just the basics. Why? I'm trying to pick a fabric for my new dress. What clothing options do you have? Silk, cotton, and polyester. Silk is fancy, isn't it? Yes, but it's also delicate and hard to maintain. How about cotton? It's comfy, but it wrinkles easily. And polyester? It's durable, but not as breathable. Sounds like a tough choice. I want something that looks good and feels good. Maybe a blend, like cotton silk. That could work. It's soft and less wrinkly. But will it last? Not as long as polyester, for sure. You might have to compromise somewhere. Oh, I guess so. Maybe I'll get two dresses instead. That's the spirit. Double the fun. And double the trouble deciding. You'll figure it out. You always do. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Anytime. Let's go fabric shopping. Oh, you're coming with? Of course. I need to see this epic decision-making in action. Well, let's hope it's epic in a good way. It sure is. Buying sheets and bedding. I can't believe how many options there are. I know, right? Choosing sheets should be simple. What's the difference between Egyptian cotton and regular cotton? I think Egyptian cotton is supposed to be softer. But there's like a $200 difference. Is it really that much better? Maybe it's one of those luxury things. Luxury or not, I just want something that feels nice. What about thread count? They say the higher the better. Do you really believe that? I can't even tell the difference. Not sure, but let's check out these 800 thread count ones. They do feel pretty nice, but look at this pattern. That's colorful. Very loud. Too much for me. I prefer something more subtle. Here's a nice one. Simple, high thread count, and soft. And it's on sale. That's my favorite feature. It's like it was made for you. Don't jinx it. Let's grab it before someone else does. Do we need matching pillowcases? Might as well. It's all about the aesthetic, right? We're going to have the best dressed bed in town. As long as it's comfortable, I'm happy. Comfortable and stylish. We've got this. Thanks for helping me decide, by the way. Anytime. Shopping is more fun with a friend. Should we look at comforters, too? Definitely. Let's go all out and make it a set. This could be a dangerous habit. <laughs> Only for our wallets. Let's do this. I'm ready for a bed makeover. Lead the way. The Autumn Fashion Collection Did you see the new Autumn Fashion Collection? Yeah, I caught a glimpse. Lots of bold colors this year. I love the use of deep reds and oranges. It's like wearing the fall leaves. Not sure if I can pull off such bright colors, though. Come on with your complexion. You'd look great in a burnt orange jacket. That dramatic? Maybe I'll stick to my grays and blues. Drama is in. 
Fashion is all about making a statement these days. I suppose you're right. What did you think about the patterns? The geometric shapes are a bit out there for me, but they're interesting. I guess fashion is supposed to challenge us, huh? Exactly. It's all about stepping out of your comfort zone. Well, if that's the case, maybe I'll give that orange jacket a try. Yes, that's the spirit. I can't wait to see it. What about you? Which piece was your favorite? I'm in love with the layered skirts. They're so flowy and fun. Sounds like your wardrobe is about to get more vibrant. Oh, definitely. I'm ready to embrace all the autumn vibes. All right, I'm convinced. Let's go on a shopping spree. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's do it. Christmas Day Preparation Can you believe Christmas is just around the corner? I know, it's crazy. Have we got everything ready? Well, the tree's up, but we still need to wrap the gifts. And the lights? You know how I love those twinkling lights. Yep, I put them up yesterday. They're looking good. What about the Christmas dinner? Please tell me you remembered the turkey. Of course I did, and all the trimmings, but... But what? You're scaring me. I forgot the cranberry sauce. Christmas is ruined. Ruined? Oh, come on, it's just a sauce. Just sauce? It's like the soul of Christmas dinner. All right, all right. I'll go get some. Anything else? Hmm. Maybe some more decorations, and don't forget the eggnog. Got it. I'll be back in a minute. And remember, not too much nutmeg in the eggnog. Okay, okay, less nutmeg. And Bob, try not to get distracted by the Christmas sales. Me? Distracted? Never. Just teasing. I trust you. But seriously, hurry. On my way. Christmas will be perfect. Don't worry. Oh, and get some extra batteries for the Christmas lights, just in case. Batteries? Check. Anything else, madam? Yes. Could you pick up Aunt Mary from the airport? Her flight lands at four. Wait, today? But that's in two hours. I know, I know. It's a bit last minute. A bit? Okay, I'll make it happen. You're the best, Bob. And I'll make sure the house looks festive. No problem, but I'll need a big slice of that pumpkin pie as a reward. It's a deal. Safe driving, and watch out for the crazy holiday traffic. Will do. See you soon with all the Christmas goodies. Can't wait. Thank you. I love you. Love you too. Merry early Christmas. A shopping spree. So, where to first? Shoes or clothes? Definitely shoes. I need some new kicks. Oh, I saw some cute boots on sale last week. Boots? But I have nothing to wear with boots. We'll go for clothes later, silly. All right, boots. Let's check them out. Look at these. Half off. Nice, but I can't imagine you in those. Why not? I can rock any style. It's just, they're so glittery. Glitter is life, Sarah. If you say so. Ooh, what about these sneakers? Not bad, but look at that color. Too loud for me. I love it. It screams confidence. Okay, you get those. I'll stick with my boots. Deal. Now, clothes? Yes, there's a sale at my favorite store. Lead the way. This dress, isn't it gorgeous? 
It's something. You don't like it. It's just so bright. You'll be seen from a mile away. That's the point, Sarah. Well, it's definitely you. Let's find something for you now. What's your style? I don't know. Casual? Comfy? Casual and comfy it is. This shirt looks cozy. And it's 70% off. Now that's a deal. I'll take it. Now, let's get some jewelry. Great. I could use a new necklace. These are lovely. Wow, look at that price tag, though. Maybe just one won't hurt. That's how it starts. What's life without a little splurge? True. Let's wrap this up. I'm starving. Shopping makes me hungry, too. Let's get some food. Best part of the day. I could eat a horse. Let's not do that. How about sushi? Perfect. Shopping and sushi, what could be better? A successful shopping spree, I'd say. I can't wait to do this again. Next month? It's a date. American football. Man. That last game was rough. Yeah, but we gotta shake it off. Next game is in a week. I just can't believe I fumbled the ball at the last minute. It happens to the best of us. Don't sweat it. But we were so close to winning. Close doesn't count in football, man. We need to do better. I know. Next time I'll secure the ball better. That's the spirit. And I need to improve my throws. Think coach will make us run extra laps for that mistake? Probably. But we'll run them together. Great. Just what I need. Hey, look on the bright side. It's good conditioning. You always find the silver lining, huh? Someone has to. We're a team, right? Right. I guess I just hate letting the team down. You didn't let anyone down. We win and lose as a team. Thanks, man. I'll try not to dwell on it. Good. Now let's work on those plays. I've been thinking about trying a new position. Really? What position? Maybe wide receiver? I've got the speed for it. True, you do. But do you have the hands? I guess that's what I need to prove. That's the right attitude. Let's pitch it to the coach. You think he'll go for it? Can't know unless we ask. All right. I'll talk to him tomorrow. Great. And I'll back you up. Thanks. I need all the support I can get. We're in this together. Now let's head home. Lead the way, Captain. After you, future wide receiver. <laughs> let's go. A spa day. I can't believe we're finally doing this. A full spa day. I know, right? We deserve this after such a stressful month. What are you getting done first? Definitely a massage. My shoulders are a wreck. Oh, same here. But I'm thinking about starting with a facial. A facial sounds divine, but I heard the hot stone massage here is amazing. Do you think they'll let us do both at the same time? Maybe if we ask nicely. Let's do it. After all, it's our day. Right. No holding back. It's all about pampering. What about this steam room? Are you in? Oh, definitely. I need to sweat out this stress. And maybe a manicure after that? I saw they have a new autumn color collection. Oh, count me in. I love a good seasonal theme. Me too. 
I'm thinking about a deep red or a burnt orange. Both sound gorgeous. Maybe I'll do one of each. A little mix and match, huh? I like it. Life's too short for just one nail color. True that. And after the nails, we should hit the jacuzzi. Yes! Jacuzzi with a glass of champagne? Oh, you're speaking my language now. Only the best for us today. We'll lounge like queens. Queens of the spa. Wait, did you bring your swimsuit for the jacuzzi? Oh no, I completely forgot. Drama begins. Do they sell them here? I hope so. Otherwise, I'll be soaking in my clothes. That would be a sight. Come on, let's ask at reception. Hope they have my size. And in a color that matches your soon-to-be autumn nails. You know, this is turning into quite an adventure. Every good spa day has a little bit of drama. It's the rule. Well, as long as it ends with us relaxed and beautified, I'm okay with that. And don't forget, we're doing this every month. It's a new tradition. Absolutely. Monthly spa days are now sacred. Workplace Conflict I can't believe she just took credit for my project. Calm down, John. What exactly happened? During the meeting, Linda presented my analysis as hers. Did you talk to her about this? No, I was too shocked. And now everyone thinks she's the brain. You need to address this, John. You can't let it slide. But how? I don't want to start a conflict at work. Just talk to her privately. Explain how you feel. And if she denies it? Then you bring it up to the manager. I guess you're right. I can't let this go. You worked hard, John. Stand up for yourself. All right. I'll talk to her today. Good. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for the advice, Emily. I appreciate it. Anytime, John. That's what friends are for. What if she gets angry? Stay professional, no matter what. All right. Wish me luck. You won't need luck. You're in the right. Here goes nothing. You've got this, John. Work from home. How's the work from home life treating you? It's okay, I guess. But honestly, I miss the office. Really? I thought you'd love working in your pajamas. Yeah, that part is nice. But I miss people, you know? I get that. Zoom meetings aren't the same. Not at all. And my cat is not a great co-worker. <laughs> Doesn't help with the reports, huh? Nope. Just walks all over my keyboard. Classic cat move. How's your project going? Slow. Hard to focus at home. Tell me about it. I miss the office coffee. Oh, the coffee. Yes, my homemade one is just not the same. Do you have a routine to stay productive? Trying to, but it's hard with the TV tempting me. I put mine in the closet. Best decision ever. Maybe I should do that. Worth a try. How do you handle distractions? I have a strict schedule. Work, break, work. Sounds disciplined. I need some of that. It's not easy, but it helps. Do you dress up when you work? I heard it helps. Sometimes. It does make a difference. Might try that tomorrow. Maybe I'll feel a bit more productive. Oh, and remember to stand up and stretch. Right. Don't want to become a couch potato. Exactly. And how about your team? Keeping in touch? We do weekly virtual lunches. It's something. That sounds fun. Might suggest that to my team. Definitely helps with the team spirit. I'll try that. 
Thanks for the tip. No problem. We've got to stick together, right? Absolutely. Hey, ever have work from home dreams? All the time. Dreamt I was late for a Zoom call in my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I had one where my cat gave a presentation. Wow. That's a dream team. Definitely. We'll get through this. For sure. And when we're back at the office, first coffee is on me. Deal. Looking forward to that. Same here. Stay safe and sane, all right? Will do. Talk to you later, Jamie. Catch you later, Alex. Black Friday Shopping Who's ready for Black Friday shopping? Me? I've been waiting all year for this. What's on your list? A new laptop, some clothes, maybe a coffee maker. You? I'm aiming for a big TV and some video games. We should hit the electronics aisles first. Good idea. It's always crowded. And then the clothing stores? Yeah. I need a new jacket, too. Oh no, I forgot my wallet at home. Seriously? That's not good. Can I borrow some from you? I'll pay you right back when we get home. No problem. We're in this together. Thanks, Alex. You're a lifesaver. Let's make this the best Black Friday ever. Deal. First stop, electronics. Hope we find some good deals. Wow, this place is crowded. Indeed, but it'll be worth it. Let's stick to the plan and stay focused. Right, no distractions. I see the TVs over there. And the laptops are just beside them. Perfect. This TV is a great deal. And this laptop is exactly what I need. Quick, let's grab them before they're gone. Got my laptop. You got the TV? Yeah, exactly the one I want. We make a good team, don't we? The best. Now, to the clothing stores. I hope the lines aren't as long there. This jacket looks nice on you. Thanks. You found some good clothes, too. Yeah, Black Friday success. We did it. Now, let's go home and relax. I can't wait to try out my new stuff. Me, too. Thanks for being an awesome shopping buddy. Anytime. Let's do this again next year. It's a date, Black Friday tradition. Healthy lifestyle. I've been thinking about starting a healthy lifestyle. Really? What made you decide that? I read an article about how it improves your mood and energy. That's true. I've been trying to eat healthier, too. Really? What kind of changes have you made? Well, I started by cutting down on sugar and processed foods. Oh, that sounds tough. Was it hard to adjust? At first, yes. But now I feel so much better. I'm thinking of joining a gym, too. That's a great idea. Exercise is key to a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, but I'm not sure where to start. How about starting with some light cardio, like walking or cycling? That sounds doable. I'll give it a try. And don't forget about hydration. Drinking water is important. Right, water. I usually forget to drink enough. Try carrying a water bottle with you. It helps me a lot. I'll do that. Thanks for the tips, Emily. No problem. It's good to have a buddy on this journey. Yeah, we can motivate each other. Exactly. Here's to our healthy lifestyle. Do you have any favorite healthy recipes? Yes. I love making smoothies with fruits and veggies. That sounds good. I need to try that. And what about snacks? Do you have any healthy snack ideas? Not really. I usually just grab chips or something. How about trying nuts or fruit instead? They're much healthier. 
Good idea. I'll have to remember that next time I'm shopping. Also, it's not just about food. Getting enough sleep is important, too. True. I've been staying up too late recently. Try setting a regular bedtime. It helps with your overall health. I guess you're right. I'll try that. And don't forget, it's okay to have cheat days sometimes. <gasps> cheat days? Yes. A day when you can eat something not so healthy. It's all about balance. Got it. A little indulgence is okay, huh? Exactly. And if you need any more tips, just ask. Thanks, Emily. I feel more confident about this now. You're welcome. Let's check in with each other about our progress. Sounds like a plan. Here's to a healthier us. Cheers to that. Cosmetic. Have you seen the new makeup line from Gloss Glam? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's amazing! They have some vibrant lipsticks and super smooth foundations. Sounds cool, but I'm more into natural makeup, you know? Yes, but sometimes a little drama in your look can be fun. I guess, but I don't want to look too flashy. Trust me, you can be dramatic yet classy with these. All right, maybe I'll give it a try. What's special about them? They have a new formula that's kind to your skin and long-lasting. That sounds promising. How about their eyeshadows? The eyeshadows, oh, they're like a dream. So many colors and they blend so well. I do need a new eyeshadow palette. Maybe I'll check it out. You should. And let's not forget their highlighters. They're literally glowing. I love a good highlighter. Do they have subtle shades? Yes, from subtle glow to full-on shimmer. It's perfect for any look. That's great. I'm excited to try them now. Let's go shopping this weekend. We can explore the whole range together. I'd love that. It's a date then. Absolutely. And maybe we can grab some lunch too. Makeup and lunch? Sounds like a perfect day. Do you think they'll have any discounts or promotions? Maybe. Gloss Glam often has weekend sales. Oh, that would be amazing. I love a good deal. Who doesn't? And I heard they're eco-friendly, too. That's important. I try to support sustainable brands. Me, too. It's good to be conscious about our choices. Definitely. I can't wait to see what they have. And we can try different looks on each other. Oh, yes, a mini makeover session. It's a plan. I'm already excited about the eyeshadows. A fishing day. Can't believe we're finally going fishing. Me neither. It's going to be a great day. Did you bring the bait and tackle? Yes, it's all in the bag. But, uh, I forgot to buy sunscreen. Sunscreen? Emma, it's crucial for a day like this. I know, I know. I'm sorry. We can buy some on the way, right? Yeah, we'll stop at the convenience store. Did you pack the sandwiches? Sandwiches, chips, and drinks. All set. Great. Let's not forget the fishing license this time. Don't worry. I double-checked. We're all good. Perfect. I'm feeling lucky today. Maybe I'll catch the big one. As long as it's bigger than last time, right? Hey, that was just a warm-up. Sure, a warm-up. Let's see if you can do better this time. Challenge accepted. And what if I do catch a big one? Hmm, I'll cook it for dinner. But if it's small, you're cooking. Deal. Let's get going. The fish won't wait. Right behind you. Today is going to be fun. Just remember, it's all about patience. And good company. We have both, so we're set. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. 
Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.